All right. Good evening, and thank you all so much for coming out this afternoon and, uh, to our regularly scheduled uh, council meeting of the Williamsburg County Council. Uh, we want to thank all of you all that are in attendance tonight. We also want to thank those that are viewing uh, via Facebook or our uh, website. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask uh, uh, Councilman Jonathan Miller, if he would, please lead us with the invocation this evening. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for the opportunity to come before the citizens of Williamsburg County to take care of his business. We ask these blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you so much, Councilman Miller. Um, there was an item that was left off the agenda, um, the uh, resolution for the tax anticipation note, uh, which that resolution, as I explained uh, last week, uh, has to be uh, passed uh, the same night uh, that a budget uh, is passed. And so at this time, I'd ask, uh, is there a motion to amend the agenda to include the resolution for the tax anticipation note? So moved. We have a motion by Councilwoman Hammond to amend the agenda. Is there a second? Second. We have a second by Councilman Floyd. Are we ready for question? All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. Thank you so much. And we will take that up should we get this, when we get this budget passed. We're going to speak it into existence. All right. Ordinances. Reconsideration. And I want to um, explain to the public what a reconsideration is before we move forward. Um, a motion to reconsideration according to Robert's rule of order is a motion to reconsider. It's a parliamentary procedure that is used to renew a motion that failed at an earlier meeting. This motion can only be made by one of the members of the prevailing side of the motion that is being reconsidered. Once the motion is made, any one of the members of council, regardless of how they voted earlier, can second the motion. The motion is then, like any other motion, is up for debate and then called for a vote. Uh, we're doing this procedure to amend the budget ordinance and to keep us from having to do three readings and a public hearing for a revised amended budget. Uh, we're ending the, we are nearing the end of our continue, continuing, re, continuing resolution and we also have a closing date for the tax anticipation note this week. So we must get this work completed so we can move on with the business of the people of this county. As stated last week, we cannot do the tax anticipation note resolution until we pass a balanced budget, and then we can pass the TAN resolution. Uh, we cannot pass the TAN res resolution without passing a balanced budget. They're all um, connected. Um, I also, at this time, I want to take this opportunity um, to thank publicly all of the members of this council for their hard work and commitment on this budget. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you have put in a lot of work and should be commended uh, for you all's efforts. I want to thank each of you publicly for your involvement in this process. And I want the citizens to know that this has been a very strenuous process, but I believe all of us are going to be better because of it. Again, I thank you uh, the members of council. I also thank the citizens of Williamsburg County for your patience during this process. So at this time, I would ask, is there a motion to amend budget ordinance 2023-07 uh, to reflect a reduction in the initial number of mills requested to be added to the general fund? The new number would be seven mills instead of the previously requested 10 mills. Is there a, mo a motion for consideration to amend and adopt ordinance number 2023-07 with this amendment. Mr. Supervisor, yes. point of order, you need to entertain a motion to read for the reconsideration before the motion to amend. I'm sorry. Um, there needs to be a motion made on the reconsideration. I'm sorry, thank you. Motion to, is there a motion for reconsideration? Thank you. So moved, Mr. Chair. So we have a motion for reconsideration. Is there a second? Second. All right. It's been uh, moved and seconded. Are we ready for question? Question. All right. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you so much. I got ahead of myself just now. Thank you so much. All right. Is there a motion to amend budget ordinance 2023-07 to reflect a reduction in the initial number of mills requested to be added to the general fund? 
The new number would be seven mills instead of the previously requested 10 mills. Is there a motion to amend and adopt ordinance number 2023-07 with this amendment? So moved, Mr. Chair. It is motion by Councilman Floyd. Is there a second? Second. Is a second by Councilman Lee. Are we ready for question? All those in favor, please indicate uh, by raising your right hand because of the seriousness of this vote. Thank you. All those opposed? Any opposed? Okay. Motion is carried. Vote was four to two. Motion is carried four to two. Thank you all so much. Four to two. Three. Four to three. Three. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, I, did he? No, he said no. He voted no? Okay, so it says four to three. Okay, very good. Let the record reflect that it was four to three. I'm sorry. All right, four to three. All right, motion carried. All right, so I also want to um, take this opportunity to discuss really, really quickly for the benefit of the budget. Um, and again, I want to thank uh, the hardworking men and women of this council for everything that they did um, as it relates to um, this budget and, and trying to get this budget passed. So there were some recommendations um, that we, we worked with and worked over yesterday that we will uh, be getting into this uh, new budget, the amended budget, excuse me. Uh, one of the things that we had asked for initially was to try to get uh, the employees a, a one-time um, disbursement around the holidays of $200 for full-time employees, $100 for um, part-time employees. That was reduced um, to $100 for full-time and $50 for um, part-time employees. Um, there were some pay raises that we had also requested in the budget, and we had to cut those by 50%. Uh, there were some individuals that we were going to try to get a dollar an hour. Um, those were some employees in critical areas, um, and we had to cut that in half, so it's 50 cents per hour instead. Um, there's some salary adjustments with EMS and a slight adjustment over at the tax assessor's office that we also are going to have to make. Those savings are going to be somewhere in the, in the um, area of $150,000 from what was initially given in the uh, first budget. We also did a 5% cut from our previous budget in community buildings, uh, which is a uh, savings of $15,270, a 5% cut in the recreation department, savings of $28,000. $270, 100% cut of our intern program, so we won't have any interns in this budget. Savings of $28,040. 5% cut in the operating budget, savings of $261,000. Um, there's a 10% cut in the supervisor council discretionary spending, which is savings of $3,912. Um, there um, were four days, four furlough days for employees. This was a recommendation by one of the council members. It's not something I'm crazy about, but we had to pass a balanced budget. Um, I need everyone to understand that uh, um, there's give and take. No one on this council, neither myself, got everything that we wanted. Um, there's nothing wrong with compromise. Uh, we all gave something in this budget to get this budget balanced, and that's, at the end of the day, uh, what was most important. Um, if we get into the budget season and see that we're doing better, than expected, then we'll do everything we can, we can to lessen those number of days. However, I'm committing tonight that however many days the employees take um, as a county supervisor, I'm going to take double that number of days. Um, as elected officials, we are exempt from furlough days and must request that those days be taken from us. Although we are exempt, I still believe that we should lead by example and not have our employees do something that we are not willing to do. Um, I challenge all of my elected colleagues to do at least the same number of days that the employees have to take if it, if it comes to that. But again, uh, I'm going to commit tonight that uh, whatever number of days uh, that the employees take in furlough days as the county supervisor, I'm going to take double that day, those number of days. If they're going to hurt, I need to hurt too. Um, and that's the way I see that. Um, and also, um, there was a recommendation by uh, the council members that 
um, they would take uh, the same number of um, furlough days um, as the um, employees. Some have expressed an interest in taking more days um, than um, the four days. That will be up to each individual council member, and that will be up to each individual um, elected official. Um, we are still running those numbers. It's somewhere around $750,000 in savings. Uh, we're putting those numbers together um, as we speak to get an accurate account so we will be able to get um, all of that information ready for our next finance, uh, our next uh, council meeting. Um, all right, let's see here. There are Let's do the resolution since we've put that back on the agenda since we've got the budget passed. Um, let's do uh, the let's go ahead and vote on this resolution. Resolution number 2023-09, a resolution providing for the issuance and sale of a tax anticipation note in an amount of up to $3.5 million by Williamsburg County, South Carolina for the fiscal year beginning July 1, 2023 and ending June 30th, 2024 here and after referred to as fiscal year 2023-2024. Is there a motion to accept this resolution? Motion to accept resolution. I have a motion to accept the resolution by Councilman Wilson. Is there a second? Second. There is a second by Councilman Woods. Are we ready for question? All right. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. We have first reading tonight of an ordinance, an ordinance to a sixth amendment to an agreement for the development of a joint industrial business park between Florence County and Williamsburg County dated December 1st, 1st 1998. The name of the project is Project Mimosa. Um, is there a motion to accept first reading? So moved, Mr. Chair. All right, there's a motion by Councilman Floyd. Is there a second? Second. A second by Councilman Wilson. Are we ready for question? All right, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right, motion has been carried. We have an item that we need to discuss in executive session dealing with economic development. Um, I thought I saw Mr. Fryson here. Okay, so is there um, a motion to go into executive session? Yes, sir, Mr. Supervisor. Um, before I make a motion to go into executive session, yes, sir. Now we've already passed the budget. Yes, sir. Um, may I have about ten seconds, or thirty seconds to make some comments? Yes, sir. Okay. Good afternoon again to your citizens of Williamsburg County. I would like to say, and I, I hope the Lord let me be brief with this. Just a few things I would like to say. Um, we have got to change our mindset in Williamsburg County. I think when we came for the first reading, I mean for the, the initial reading last week, of uh, the third reading of the budget, somebody said, why can't we have things like other counties? Well, let me tell you, until we change our mindset in Williamsburg County, believing we can't have anything like other counties, we can't do we are less than other counties. We are not. The reason why we are falling behind is because of this right here, the way we think. When we talked about those millage, the mills increase, that was a tedious topic, very controversial. But when you were talking about the difference in seven mills and 10 mills, we're, those of us that can do math, we're talking about three mills. And I, I, I specifically asked the supervisor the other night, when we're talking about a 10 mills increase, if you own a house that's valued or assessed at $100,000, what are we talking about? How much additional taxes do we have to pay? His response was $40. Now. And a lot of us would, would get homestead exemption. It's going to be even less. Now, to do that, to sacrifice what he just read to you again, 
we're going to ha probably have to lay off some employees. Uh, some services will have to be cut. All because of three meals. That's all. Three meals. I don't know sometimes if you, you play games or you working on re-election or what. But I'm saying this, and I hope, I hope nobody take it the wrong way because I'm not upset. I'm not being adversarial to anybody, towards anybody. But I just want us to think a little bit. The citizens of Williamsburg County, we've got to change our mindset. We can do better. We can have more. But sometimes we have to pay a little more to get what you want. Now, and most of us in here don't own houses for a hundred thousand dollar value. Most of the citizens in our county don't have houses that would value a hundred thousand dollars. So for the most people, we're talking about, I'm gonna to try to average this out. For the most people, they will instead of paying a forty dollar increase for a hundred thousand dollar house, they may have a house that's valued at sixty thousand dollars. Look at what we're talking about. We've sacrificed so much tonight for three meals. Three meals. What would have been so bad about going with the ten meals, keeping that little that little increase in place, let everybody keep their jobs. Everybody would be able to share in some of the wealth. The good thing that could happen in Williamsburg County, if we had just done that. Now, basically that's what I wanted to say tonight. I just want you to think about it. You don't have to make any decision on anything. Just think about the mindset. Why can't we have what other counties has? Is it uh, intentionally constructed that way so we can't think any plainer? <laughs> so we can't think any clearer? The elites, the elites, we have a, an elite class, we have a regular class, we have a poor class. Now, do you think the elites want to maintain and get richer, get more elite? <laughs> to me, apparently, that's what it is. We've got to change that. Everybody need to get a piece of the pie. Now, I voted tonight. Well, well I'm, I'm in a agreement tonight because that's the only option we have. And I know what we've been through. These council members, you, you citizens don't go to all of these meetings and workshops we have, but we do. And we know what was at stake. We knew what was at stake last week. We knew that possibly some of you all would get laid off or furloughed. We knew that some services probably would have had to be cut. We knew that. But still, we let three meals, three meals stand between you still maintaining your job, you still maintaining the services, the level of services that you were getting. Now that was sacrificed for three meals. I rest my case, I'll, I take my leave, and please y'all, please, it's too late, but please for, for the future reference, your mindset, mindset has to change. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Is there anyone else? Before we go into exec, um, I think we've got a motion on the floor to go into executive session. Um, I just want to say well, yes, well said, well said, Mr. Woods. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to go into executive session? So moved. All right, we have a motion to go into executive session by Councilwoman Hammond. Is there a second? Second. Second by Councilman Floyd. Are we ready for question? Ready. All right, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. All right, we will be in executive session for a few moments. Thank you.
All right. Is there a motion to come out of executive session? All right. So we have a motion to come out. Is there a second? Thank you. Second by uh, Councilman Woods. The first motion was made by Councilman Lee. Are we ready for question? All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. There was no action taken in executive session. No action taken in in executive session. Um, I do not have a county supervisor's report. I made my comments earlier, um, so I don't have anything to report. Uh, is there any uh, report or comments that any of the council members want to make? Motion adjourned. All right, I have a motion on the floor to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Uh, seconded by Councilman Woods. All right, ready for question. All those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thank you all so much for being with us, and you all have safe travels home. You didn't put that the ones behind it.